Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 129 of my Dire Wolf 20.18 Let's Play. Alright. Um, yeah, we're back here today doing the blood magic stuff. Um, and I got stuff ready. <laughs> um, I went ahead and made up a bunch of uh, more of the self-sacrifice runes for the tier four. Uh, we had all the stuff, so I went ahead and made them up. Woohoo! Uh, that's the easy part. Uh, we had like all the slates already ready. That's what it's doing right now. It's catching everything back up. Ah! That one hurt. Uh, so, um, I have something I need to show you. Let me see if you can see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, so, like, I, I came in and the first thing I did was I came over to break this <laughs> smart cable. Um, to replace it because Jake said that usually if he breaks a... a cable and replaces it it starts working so I came over here <laughs> and I was pressing uh, my button to mine and I just mined it and a creeper exploded <laughs> and I don't know it must have been a special creeper because it had a huge blast radius um like I don't know how it killed me it didn't touch anything over here, uh, but it, like, destroyed this whole line of glass, like, this whole wall under there, part of the, the earth, this whole section of the wall. <laughs> um, the incense altar got destroyed. The hellfire forge got destroyed. Part of this wall over here got destroyed, but pretty much none of the glass or this got destroyed so i was really happy about that because it was just it was just some dirt and some bricks really and and one row of glass uh that got destroyed uh, and the hellfire forge and the incense altar i have no idea how it got all the way over there it had to have been a special creeper uh to a instantly kill me from the explosion and to destroy that block all the way over there and that one over there uh, so but <laughs> the good news is breaking this block and replacing it has helped um the system to see stuff in my chest so i'm happy about that um there is uh Hey, I did go spend some time and I filled up my petty Tartaric gem so that uh, we could do the upgrade. And I was looking up because I wanted to do the key. I need to mark that one too. I wanted to do the key so we could get some more of those rooms op or rooms open in the demon realm. Also, uh, we need this alchemical reaction chamber made. Uh, that is going to help us get the bloodstone bricks that are going to cap off these pillars right here. Uh, which is the only thing we need other than to just replace these uh, bubble bricks with um, self-sacrifice. Um, I don't think it actually gives you the bone. Wait a minute. Um, move. I do want to wait until I can sleep under here. Okay, so I would like to go ahead and just get those out of my inventory so I don't forget about Do this blink. And oh, 
I, I want to sleep because I don't want to get blowed up again. I tell you what, I should probably, you know, just fight the bullet and light my island up or put some magnum torches or the barrel flare lanterns out. Uh, <laughs> you would think that would be a good plan. Oh, uh, I love how these runes look. They look super... Hi! Alright, you can, you can come in. There's no crops down there for you to destroy. Haha! <laughs> oh yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Um, It'll look better with the little splash of red in there. Oh, look at that. Oh! No, I sent a bolt off into nothingness. Is it done then? 32, 16, and 32. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, I like it. So let us get our lesser Tartaric gem. Because I, I noticed something that uh, about the key <laughs> that I didn't see before. Okay, so it required 60 but consumed 20. So we still have 44. But that got us the lesser Tartaric gem. Um, I wonder if I hold that. Will it get sucked up into this one? No. I think there's a way that you can get that out. But... Uh, so, uh, the Lesser Tartaric Gem was important because we needed it in, in order to get the Iron Key. We needed a Lesser, but also we need a Common Tartaric Gem. So, we need the Lesser in order to get the Greater or the Common uh The common takes the lesser. So now that we have that, we have to work towards the common one, which takes a minimum of 240 and consumes 50. Um, that's a lot of will. Uh, we do have the items. We just don't have the will. Uh, so... Unfortunately, we won't be able to get the common one to make the key because I'll have to go spend some more time building up 240 will to get this uh, to work. Um, so let's go ahead and work on uh, getting the bloodstone bricks uh, that we need. Blood. See these guys. Uh, you need uh, one stone and one weak blood shard and it will get you eight bloodstone bricks. And that's the easy part. The hard part is getting the actual weak blood shard. So we have to take a uh, saturated towel with a sanguine reverter um, and it gives us a weak blood shard and I guess with a 20% chance to get another one. Um, so what is this? This guy. Make that. Okay, so this takes, oh, it takes a minimum of 350 weak to do a lot of will. Hmm. Okay. So does this take which one do we need? Looks like only common or greater. So in order to even get the sanguine reverter, we need to have a common Tartaric gem. Ugh, so that's a bum deal. Um, but we still also need one other thing, which is the 
towel, the saturated towel. Um, this is like something that they they did add uh, that is quite a bit different than um, you know the original blood magic. Um, it's pretty cool though. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't make this guy do that. And we can't do this, so um, do that. It's over here. And this is the one we need the same wine reverter for. Oh, look at that. Blood and stuff. Um, looks pretty cool okay so we got our lesser tartar gem and we made our alchemical reaction chamber the saturated tau is interesting <laughs> um i don't know if they changed it since the last uh time i played this let's see dungeon delvey the tau fruit here we go Tau fruit can be found within simple dungeons, after which it can be farmed. Being a native denizen of the demon realm, its life cycle is unfortunately a tad more complex than that of the humble potato. The tau fruit will mature into one of two varieties depending on the conditions in which it was raised. By default, it will grow into Tau fruit, which can be converted into Tau oil. Tastes like a blood orange, except different. <laughs> um, tau oil currently has two main uses. It can extend the duration of any anointment by a factor of four, or it can be used to craft intermediate cutting fluid, which functions similarly to basic cutting fluid but lasts eight times longer and provides a 25% speed boost. However, Tau fruit has an alternate, more challenging route of growth. If a plant matures while a mob, a cow for example, is standing on top of it, it will leach health from the entity to satiate its dark hungers. In this way, saturated Tau can be grown. And there you have it. Okay, it's sucking the life out of the mobs to uh, create the saturated towel. So it's saturated with blood, kind of like a leech. <laughs> it's it's engorged with the the blood of the innocent. So yeah good times um so we do have the tau fruit oh man okay so maybe i will like eat a hoe or something i guess uh, i think i have one. Oh, look at that perfect stone hoe um Okay, so I guess um, I could just like mob imprisonment tool. I love this. Oh, oh no. I need to um, go into my system and uh, set up some more of those filters so that it can pull some more things out of the system over here. Let's see, uh, plastic. Uh, let's just get a little bit of that and throw it in there. there we go. Now we have both plastics. I just wanted to make one of these. Um, Maybe even make a couple. Three is good. 
So let's go have a cow, man. Um, yeah, I could totally just grab one of these. Uh, actually, let's grab a couple of them. Hello? Um, I think I might have to contain them in some way. Um, hmm. If I break this, will it give me the chow fruit back? Oh. Okay, that's good. I think I might want some vents or something. Oh, you know what? It would be cool to use like a magical barrier. To um, put them in. Oh man, I wish I knew which mods would make that happen better. Um, um, I'm pretty sure there's probably a way to, to magically contain Uh, I wonder if there's a uh, way in ours to do the stuff and things. Where's my worn notebook? I don't know. I would just use the fence for right now. I would try to find a different solution. The fence. Uh, so, let's do this, kind of just make this little section. Because uh, I think you can um, use... Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Um, you. Uh, I guess I could put another one down. Wheat. Wheat. There you go. Have, have a last hurrah. Um... I wonder if I can, can I boop you? No? Um, do the stuff. I, I may need to get some water over there to keep them hydrated. Oh, oh, I saw him take some damage. What would be cool is to have some regenerative effects on these cows. Um, I think that might help, maybe. I don't know if these need hydration, but like they can't. I think if I put it right here, it would be not in the way. <laughs> um, let's see. I could do this. Do projectile heal. Create. Uh huh. Uh, so, it, at least it's not hurting the little cow. Um, oh, dude, this would be a perfect opportunity to use a bookworm.
I think, I think, I think really, um, oh yeah, so I think we could get a bookworm to cast heal on these cows, that way they won't, they won't die, and then uh, we could have unlimited cow, saturated cow from just these two cows. Um, I think, I think that would be really super cool. Um, and I happen to have a little, um, little guy already ready up here. See, I think if I just take, uh, him, there we go. I need my wand of the dominion. Can I, can I boop you? Boop you. <gasps> no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Um, if I just destroy this, will he? Yes. Okay, so I got his charm. All right. So I have uh, no idea how to do this. Um, I think we need a spell parchment is what I read. Mm -hmm. We have a item scroll. Here's a spell parchment. So I think if I modify this with the spell that I want him to cast, um, that would be super cool. So let's do, I think I would want a projectile heal, I think. Uh, Let's, uh, where did my worn notebook go? It used to be in there. Did it get put in? I don't know where it went off to. Is it over here? I don't know. Um, all right, so I think you do uh, do heal. What do I do? Shift. Oh, it's still set to mine. Ah, I don't want it to do mine. Set spell. Okay. Let's see what spell you got, buddy. Projectile and heal. Okay, that looks good. Looks good. I'm not 100% certain that this will work, but um, it would be cool. And, uh, yeah, one of them's taken some damage. So let's put you there. How do you, do I just, um, okay, here comes the bookworm. There we go. Okay, so if I, okay, casting projectile heal, strict mode true, using nothing. Uh, now I wonder, do, do I have to tell him? to cast it on the cap? What if I do this? And come over here, will he cast it on me? Why you know do nothing? Um, hmm. I may need to, uh, I thought he would cast spells. Um, can't find my notebook and I don't think it's in the uh, eccentric tome pretty sure the worn notebook is not in there maybe it's in the refined storage system
I mean, worst case, I could. There, there are regenerative rituals in blood magic. Yeah, it's not in there either. Like, where the heck did it go? I, I use that sucker all the time. And, and yeah, I've, I've not seen it. Uh, well, ah, there it is. I thought it wasn't even in here. I don't know. Uh, let's do automation, bookworm charm. Okay. Yes, to summon a bookworm, use a bookworm charm on the lector. We got that part and we got him, uh, to be able to bookworm ski cast spells that begin with touch or projectile. You may give them a spell that is written on spell parchment. Uh, currently, bookworms will only target blocks surrounding their lectern. Spell casting will consume source from jars that are within seven blocks of their lectern. Ah, they need to have source. Um, so I need to get them some source, uh, which... I believe uh, we should be able to do no problem because uh, we had a lot of source from before when we had the Vitalik source link hooked up to the mob system and it just produced so much source uh, that pretty much had unlimited. Okay, so I think up here... Yeah, look, I got all this 100% full source jar. Uh, that should hopefully be enough. Let's see if that will get him to cast spells or if we need to do something else. But it did say that they could only target blocks, so... Uh, let's see how it goes. Are you going to do the thing, buddy? Um, oh, look, it hit, it did the baby cow. Oh, maybe I could trick it. I could trick it. Can I tell it which block to set it on? And I could change the spell to where he's doing touch on this block, but it will cast uh, an AOE. Maybe that would work. So like we could modify our heal spell uh, to do touch. Touch and heal. Touch, um, there is no AoE. Touch cannot be augmented by AoE. Okay, so we'll have to do projectile, heal, no, there is, there is no AoE for projectile either. Huh, I was really ex hoping to do the splash to get them healed up. Well, that is, that is um, no good. That is not going to do what I want. Oh, man, I was really wanting you to work, buddy. Okay, well, I will try to figure that out. Uh, can I, like, uh, grow these or something? Apparently not.
Oh no. Um, and it didn't look like uh, kick accelerating did anything for them. So that's what I'm waiting on. Okay, so I guess um, yeah, it's been about thirty minutes. Uh, I'm gonna have to spend some time just letting these guys uh, do their thing. This uh, bookworm. I'm not using properly, I guess. Um, let me see. Uh, let's do... Uh, anyway, <laughs> I will mess with this some more. See if I can uh, find something that works. Um, oh, dude. I could totally do a spell turret. Possibly. Or even something completely different. Uh that will just blanket do a regenerative spell. Oh, because it's self. It's self. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try and get some more of these tau fruits growing um, and see if, if that will help. getting us the Tau fruit that we need. Although we need the common Tartaric gem as well. So I'm going to have to, how much can this hold? It doesn't say, uh, but I'm going to have to fill this guy up probably in order to make the common Tartaric gem. So in between episodes, I've also got to fill this thing up. <laughs> so I got my hands full. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!